Hi, I'm JJ Snyder, and you're watching Mingle Media TV's Red Carpet Report. Tonight, I'm at the Arc Light for the premiere of Jumping the Broom. My first film. The first film, I've been around, I've worked at many executive jobs throughout the industry for many years, but this is the first time I can claim from conception to release, a film that I have complete, my fingerprints are all over it. Whoa, huge accomplishment. Congratulations. Yeah. So, so the setup is, is pretty general. It's a, a family from the bad side of the tracks, a family from... We have a, you have an upper class African American family uh, bride marries a working class African American groom. Their families don't meet till the weekend of the wedding. And so sparks fly when they meet, secrets come out, and ultimately the idea of jo jumping the broom uh, was basically slaves could not acknowledge that they were married. They could not legally get married. So the only way that they could acknowledge a, a marriage was to jump a broom. So thematically, this movie is about a whole community coming together, you know, through the jumping of the broom. What drew you to this project? You know, when I first got the first draft of the script from uh, Devon Franklin at Sony, you know, it was everything that Bishop Jakes and I were looking for. We were actually working on doing a relationship film, a wedding film, and he sent this over to us and he said, hey, I think this has got the elements, and it did. And it was about families coming together, it was about family secrets, which we think is a big issue, something we thought would be a lot of fun to talk about. And so it had those elements that we were looking for, and uh, we just immediately gravitated to it. Hi, Loretta. Congratulations tonight. How did you enjoy filming in Nova Scotia? Uh, it was exciting. It's a beautiful country. There's nothing I think it can bear to it. And uh, they said Martha's Vineyard. We got a chance to spend a day there, but the month we spent in Nova Scotia was extremely nice. I have to go. All of those producers were instrumental in me being hired and in me taking this this step outside of hip hop and rap and, and that type of film, dance genre, and into the genre of true strong acting and drama. And I love that. Not that I don't love my hip hop movies and my dance films. Right. So you have uh, music on the soundtrack? Yes, I do. Um, I've been asked by Bishop Jakes to sing Inseparable, a song that Natalie Cole did years ago. So it's a new version of. Um, of course, I'm a gospel artist, so it's different for me. You know. So you're getting uh, you you're getting fans recognizing you off the street here. Does that happen to you frequently? That's amazing. Yeah, they have to be careful. They don't get get into an accident. Don't tweet and drive. Don't text and drive, and don't wave and drive. It's not allowed in California. Thank you. All according to Boris. Everyone, listen to him. You know, did you go out with any cops? Hang out in LA? Never. Never. No. <laughs> I, I. You know, I'm a. I'm not a method actor. I just pretend. I don't need to go live in the slums to know. Yeah. I don't go below Wilshire. Ah. <laughs> you triathlon or something like that? I do. I do all sorts of that. I know. I know. Because okay. yeah, you you don't have a handshake like that without doing something like. Man. You don't know how much that means coming from Black Dynamite. <laughs> thank you, I'm thank serious. you. Hey, thank you, Mama. Oh my <laughs> 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 oh, dear, I'm scared, too. So cute.